Hi, this is Lexi Genius here at Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. I got a nice email from someone who said, could you show me your credenza 830X hand tool leather credenza? Well, credenzas came out in late 25 and into production in early 27. The first credenzas had two doors and not four doors. The early credenzas had the motor in the middle and in early 26, they moved everything this way and put a record holder. This machine, they started out at $275 and by 26, they were $300. This machine was $300 and then they added $35 for an electric motor and $50 for the hand tool leather, which is the Moroccan leather. All gold plated hardware with a record holder. This is what they changed. They moved everything this way. These machines also came with a hydraulic ram system on the lid where it closes automatically. This is all original. They covered the hand tool leather with shellac and I cleaned all that off to reveal the painting. These also have an eight foot re-entered horn like an 835, except this one's in wood. I did put a new grill cloth into it when I did it. When I did it. This is all hand tool leather. Then they did a polychrome beading here. All the way around. And then they added the beading on the side here. And they did they followed the same motif with the red and the greenish blue here. All under here too. Even on the lid, they came down with a green. These are probably about a rarity three. Credenzas, a rare credenza is probably about a rarity two. A two door is probably up into about a three. This is a favorite machine of my wife's and mine. I bought this in Santa Barbara, California, my hometown, on my 40th birthday. I walked into the antique store. This is when photograph prices were a little higher. And I looked over, and this was sitting there, and my wife looked at me, and I went, oh shit, we're leaving with this one. And I got there, and it didn't run. And it's a funny story. They, it's electric, so you have an extension cord. No, I had to go buy an extension cord, come back, plugged it in, turned it on, and I was a young collector, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know if you took the speed control knob and turned it all the way down right here, it wouldn't run. So I turned it on and nothing happened. And I said, oh, you have to make me a deal. So lo and behold, I walked out of the store for $400. Glad I carried my credit card with me all the time when I do this. This is a fun hobby. And that's my tip for the day.